up for Louis Cato on the Late Show Man. Everybody, right over there, please. Uh, Louis, uh, tonight uh, yes. we have a, just a delightful uh, a guest on the show, a, a young man that I have spoken to many times, enjoyed mm. it every time. Uh, Mr. John Mulaney is going to be right. Right. <laughs> Folks, I spend most of my time right over there harvesting the day's finest Omeshi New Silk. Weaving, cutting, and hand sewing it the most topical story, Nogoro and Okumi. Then adding a finely made Nogaya Obi to create for the exquisite Furiso de Kimono that is my monologue. But sometimes, folks, while fleeing Appalachian bootleggers I've double crossed, I steal a kite from a confused child, then use the jagged edge of a burned out silo to hack a neck hole into it before I rip some bailing twine off an abandoned haystack for straps and convince myself I'm in disguise in the demented hobo crop top of news that is my segment. Meanwhile... Meanwhile, right there. Evergreen. Meanwhile, an Indiana woman stole a car from a dealership to drive to an exotic dancer interview. Well, of course, she had to steal a car. Bus seats are very uncomfortable in a G-string. I gotta say, though, I was a little dismayed to hear that she stole a Kia. <laughs> really? If you're gonna take all the legal risk of stealing a car, can I suggest you aim just a little bit higher? <laughs> That's like a bank robber saying, all right, back away from the money and fill this bag with all those pens with the little chains on them. <laughs> Meanwhile, on Monday, the Wall Street Journal celebrated Simone Biles' big win at the World Championships in Belgium, tweeting, with 37 world and Olympic medals now, Simone Biles added to her extraordinary legacy. That's really lovely. Just one problem. That's not Simone Biles in the photograph. It's actually fellow American gymnast Shailene Jones seen here with Biles. After people pointed out the mistake, the journal saw the error of its ways, tweeting, we have corrected the photo in the story and on social media, adding, we are so sorry, Serena Williams. We would never intentionally disrespect you in the middle of your Renaissance World Tour. Ba da 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 da. Shailiz. Meanwhile, customers with a qualifying order from Domino's will now be entitled to a free pizza through Domino's new emergency pizza program. Remember, when your emergency pizza deploys, always strap the slice to your face first before helping your child with their slice of pizza. The program, the program offers customers a free medium pizza when most needed. Because according to them, with so much uncertainty in everyday life, everyone needs a pizza at some point. Adding, unfortunately, instead of pizza, you will have to make do with Domino's. <laughs> Domino's stockholders here, evidently. <laughs> oh. Meanwhile, <laughs> Levi's CEO suggests wearing your jeans in the shower to help save the planet. While the CEO of Zara said, if you do that with our genes, they will straight up dissolve. <laughs> Gone. Meanwhile, in Michigan, the only state with an opposable thumb, a shelter is seeking a family for Cheeto. Beautiful little pup, so named because he was rescued after he got his head stuck in a plastic container <laughs> of cheese balls. It makes sense. Cheese balls combine dogs' two favorite tastes, cheese and balls. <laughs> He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Britain, the World Conquer Championship is in question due to soggy chestnuts. <laughs> Congratulations, Britain. You've come up with a sentence that sounds even more silly than, hello, I'm Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> Conquers is a British game where each player drills a hole in a chestnut and strings it on a lace then takes turns hitting one another's chestnuts until one of them breaks. After that, they continue being virgins. <laughs> it's not fair. We have no idea. That's not fair. And good for you. If you're a virgin, good for you. According to a member of the championship organizing committee, the chestnuts harvested for this year's competition were found to be too soft and mushy. And the decision to bake the chestnuts has proven controversial to some players. I'm not surprised. I mean, this whole story raises all sorts of big questions, like how the f did these people have a global empire? 
I don't understand. Meanwhile, Stouffer's has released its first ever advent calendar, and it's filled with frozen foods, like family-sized lasagna with meat and sauce, Stouffer's bowlfuls chicken bacon ranch bowl, and Stouffer's ultimate five cheese mac. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me type 2 diabetes. We'll be right back.